All right, so I've got here something because I finally got to upgrade my phone. Um, so I'm still waiting for it. It's supposed to be here on Tuesday, but I'm getting a Galaxy S8 and uh, really pumped for it. And I wanted to get ready and get some stuff. I'm really hoping that other than this, I can unlock Google Daydream because unfortunately they do not support it. Because I guess it's a, it's a, you know, it's a fist to cuff fighting thing between uh, Samsung and, and uh, Google. So they're, you know, blocking each other. It's really stupid and I hate when people don't open things up a little, but I'm hoping I can actually unlock it. I've seen things about that, but whatever. Here we have the Gear VR, um, and Oculus, and uh, Samsung, and all that. And it comes with this touch controller. And I can't wait till I get this thing simply because of the camera on this, the phone that I have, which is a Motorola Droid Turbo. And if you notice when I, you know, do this, it's very awkward. It makes things look like shit. And apparently the camera on that phone is a lot better. So then I can use that. I used to use dedicated cameras, but I kind of got annoyed by it. I'm just lazy. So I'm going to be opening this. I pre-cut these uh, tabs. I never opened it, though. So Can't use this really until uh, I get my phone, though. But I wanted to unbox it. And here's the full box. Flaps out. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, the box back is really fairly blank, except for a bunch of lettering that not many people can read. And uh, whatever. And here we have it. Here is the headset. Um, and here we have the uh, bunch of stuff. A manual that nobody reads. Um, we have the controller. So you can use it in VR. That's going to be cool. Really looking forward to that and knocking around my camera. Um, and what else? Got some batteries. Uh, have these. I have a whole package of better batteries, so I'll probably use those instead. We have, I believe this is this, one of these is the strap for, uh, oh, I'm sure one of them is the strap to not throw the controller, I guess. And the other one's the strap for this. I believe this should be the headset strap. Um, and this, I'm guessing, is a strap to not throw the controller, or else they are both the same and you have to assemble them. Uh, so then we have here is, oh, I think this may be the strap to hold the controller. No, whatever. I never use those anyways. This is, um, it's a thing. You know, I normally know more about these things. I normally research them more, and now it's on the floor just with everything else that I just dropped. And this would be one of those USB Type-C adapters to, I believe, plug in a regular USB um, micro USB uh, thing. So, at least I know that. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, box empty. And now, here we have the Gear VR. I may be able to put my, my Motorola phone in here. Of course, not while I'm recording, though. Um, and, of course, it's not going to give me Gear VR apps. I'm going to take the plastic off of here. And then I could just look at it for a few days until the phone shows up. And there's the plastic. That's the main part of things. And then we have here the, um, the Gear VR headset. And uh, there's a lock here. And, uh, huh. Wow, I am... Normally not this disoriented. I normally actually do more research than this before I buy stuff, but I didn't this time. Normally I obsessively do research, uh, but that, I got that off though. Um, so then here's the that, and inside is the USB Type C. And if you have this adapter, I'm assuming you put that in there, and uh, it will allow you to use. Why am I dropping everything? 
I hope that doesn't happen when the when the uh, S8 shows up and then with a end up with a cracked screen. Okay, so this goes in how? Hmm. Maybe this goes in here. This goes in there. Wherever. Hmm. So. Huh. These are all Type C. So. I don't know what this is for. I'll have to look that up. Micro USB connector for, oh, well, it says micro USB. So I guess this goes on, uh, this is a converter for the micro USB to, to uh, USB type C. This is a piece that should go on the, get this thing off of here. So the piece that should go on here somehow like this somehow or not huh I don't know how that goes on interesting I feel like I failed <laughs> normally I know more about these things I'll have to look more about uh, do more research now oh this comes off okay gotcha this piece comes off this goes on ah here you go so this one goes on if you have micro USB. Somehow it goes in there. And oh, it slides on. There you go. Okay, so this just slides on here. And then you lock it in place. And it stays. So if you have the older phones, I guess, with micro USB, it goes on. And then you can just slide it off and put the other one on. And uh, I guess this is maybe the other one's for charging. I don't know. No, I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> yeah, like this. Like this, like that. Okay, let's see if I can hit that. Like that. And there you go. Um, so I have all the stuff I dropped on the floor. And I got to figure out how to use that. And I'll put this back. I don't have an older Samsung phone, but I don't know. Put it on eBay. I don't know what you're going to get for that, but I'm going to put this back on. It just, huh. How does this work? It just pops on? Yeah. I think. Seems like it's on wrong. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like... Oh, I put it on upside down. Sweet. I didn't know you could do that. Nice. I put it on upside down because I'm cool like that. I put it on the right side. Okay. Looks funny. I don't know if I put that on right. But, yeah. That's the Gear VR. These are the lenses. Um, good. The inside is not white. <laughs> I like the fact that that's not white because that is distracting, at least for me. And then I guess there's some kind of detection here. Um, I guess it detects when you put your headset on or whatever. And then we have on here on the sides, place for the strap. And it says Gear VR Oculus. And then we have the touchpad here. And we have home and back button there. And uh, I guess this is volume. Or is it? Yeah, volume. And this is the... Um, this is for lens adjustments. Is... Okay, this brings, this pulls the tray out a little more, so that's the distance between the lenses and the screen. And do these move? Hmm. Do they not move? It looks like the lenses do not move apart. Thought I heard something about that. I don't know. Oh, wow, this is the most disorganized video I think I've ever made. Maybe. Probably did worse. Um, and here, I'll show you the, the thing. This is the, I guess this is a touch thing or something. And this is a trigger. So that'll be cool. And I guess this is also volume up and down and back and home. And this is where the batteries for the remote go. Apparently, what? Oh, I was about to say, they're already in there. I thought I heard a, a noise. But no, the batteries are not in there. So, 
yeah, that's what the batteries are for. And then I don't need this thing, and I don't know what this is specifically for. This is a USB uh, to Type C adapter. I don't know if uh, it's another method of connecting. I have no clue. Maybe it's for different phones. Maybe other phones are smaller and need different solutions. I have no clue. No clue. But, uh, yeah, I will be receiving my uh, Gear V... Uh, not Gear V, I already have it. My S8 uh, and about, I think they said Tuesday. No, they did say Tuesday, not I think. They did say Tuesday. Um, and then I'll get to use this finally. So, and, you know, until then, I'll just be looking at it going, where's my S8? So, that's my first... Uh, this will be my first phone that I get that, uh, you know, is like a launch day kind of phone. Uh, mostly I have the outdated phones that were like two models ago or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And that's that. So and then I can show that one phone. I did use a, the S8 as a, a demo version. And I was like, that's why I bought it because I was like, holy shit. And uh, so, yeah, so the, the things with the S8 that I would I am looking forward to, other than the screen because it looks phenomenal, uh, seeing it in person, I was like, holy shit, <laughs> this is great. Um, but the fact that the screen is actually this, like the size of a, a phablet screen really helps, especially when it comes to VR stuff. Um, and, you know, portability and the two together, big screen, portability, uh, easier to put in your pocket stuff. And my stomach is talking. I guess I'm hungry. And then, of course, I also like, because I'm a YouTuber, I love the recording features. I know you can just download apps and record the screen on newer versions. Of, not too newer versions, but uh, newer kind of versions of Android. But uh, it actually does internal audio and uh, for games and, and all that fun stuff. And it has that game launcher thing. It has a whole bunch of great features. I was watching a, a video, a big list of these awesome features that it, that you think you can do. And I was like, what? You can do what? You can do this? You can do that? So I'm just hoping I can just, once I get it, I can add that one feature, which is to root it and be able to get freaking Daydream on there so I can use the Daydream apps. I really want to play that Need for Speed game that they released for Daydream. So I'm hoping I can take care of that. Uh, I normally root every device I have. Sometimes I don't. It depends on, on it because of the Shield TV, I didn't root it. Uh, I did... I did in the past, but I never used the features for that I needed root access for. So it's just like, screw that. I won't bother because it's a pain in the ass. You have to bring it over to your computer and have all these monitors set up and uh, fuck everything. And then, of course, the tablet. I rooted that quite a few times, but after updates, it's a pain in the ass. So whatever. Sometimes it's too much of a pain in the ass and there's not much of a, a benefit to rooting. But if it means I can use Daydream VR, uh, Daydream yeah, Danger in VR and all that, then I'll do it. And that's that. And I also want to, because I'm glad, because the phone I have now doesn't have an SD card slot, and it only has like 32 gigs of memory, uh, of, uh, of storage, and you don't get all of it, and I have to pick and choose everything uh, or manage the storage a certain way. But seeing as this has 64 gigs of onboard storage, um, of course, some of that is taken up by the OS and all that. But then it has an SD card slot so that I can actually start putting ROMs on it and make it like a portable emulation machine. And I've seen it do a good job at playing GameCube games, which means it will be awesome to me. If you can fucking, if it can play GameCube games and all this other stuff, I'm loading this thing up like a nice portable emulation machine with Arc Browser and all that. And I'm going to make sure that this thing is going to, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so can't wait to use this. Can't wait to turn it into an emulation machine. Can't wait to just uh, use the camera. Finally upgrade my quality because there's not.